Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name is Chelsea and I'm working with Girl Scouts of West Central Florida to show you guys some projects that you can do at home. Today I'm super excited because we are making a unicorn pillow. I've never made a pillow before and I've always wanted to but I cannot sew. I have no idea how to sew. But this kit is so cool because there's no sewing and no cutting needed. All we're doing is knotting. This kit is available at the Girl Scout Leadership Center store in Tampa for $13. Shipping is free right now. Normally it's $5, so don't wait. Our address, email, and phone number is in the description, so go ahead and get yours now and take advantage of the free shipping. And without further ado, let's get started. Now before we begin making our pillow, let's make sure we have everything we need. In the box, we have a pre-sewn unicorn, our stuffing, some strips of fleece, and stickers. One thing that isn't included in the kit that you can use to add some unique designs to your pillow is fabric markers. Now that we've made sure we have everything we need, we can now get started on making our pillow. The first step is to take our pre-sewn unicorn and fill it with our stuffing. Make sure when you're filling, you also fill the horn of the unicorn. A unicorn is a legendary creature that is known to possess magical abilities. Today, this creature is thought to be a myth, but ancient cultures wrote of it as a real animal. It was even included in many natural history books. The first written account of a unicorn in Western literature comes from the Greek doctor Tejas in the 4th century BCE. While traveling through Persia, he heard tales of a single-horned wild donkey roaming the eastern part of the world. In his writings, Tejas described these creatures as large as horses with white bodies, red heads, and blue eyes. The horn was multicolored and about a foot and a half in length. They were so swift and powerful that no creature, neither the horse or any other, could overtake it. Other well-known figures throughout history reported their own unicorn sightings, including Marco Polo, Genghis Khan, and Pliny the Elder. Scientists say what these people saw might have been a rhinoceros. The Indian rhinoceros fits many of the descriptions recorded about a unicorn. The one horn, the powerful nature, and even Polo calling them ugly brutes. In fact, this theory is so widely held, the scientific name of the Indian rhino is Rhinoceros unicornis. Alright, we now have a fully stuffed unicorn. So the next step is to take your fleece and lay it out in whatever order you want. Okay, so I've laid out my fleece in the order that I want to knot them. Next is to take the fleece, weave it through the holes in the back of the unicorn, and knot them. Legend has it that the unicorn never gets tired when chased, but may stop when approached by someone with a pure heart. It is known to live for a thousand years and to be the noblest of animals. Unicorns have traditionally appeared as a symbol of purity and the divine power that nurtures all living things. The only way to catch a unicorn is to possess purity of heart. Often considered the most wondrous of all mythical creatures, the unicorn is also a symbol of magic, miracles, and enchantment. The magical and enchanting unicorn appears to only a rare few and has the ability to bestow magic, miracles, and wisdom to those who are pure of heart and virtuous in their deeds. Nowadays, the unicorn is strongly associated with vibrant imagination and a sense of wonder. Present in numerous children books, it also appears to adults because of its mysterious and fantastic attributes. The unicorn is one of a very few mythical creatures that is considered to be beneficial in almost all traditions. Through many different cultures, the unicorn is universally beautiful, mysterious, and difficult to capture or tame. So go ahead and move her mane out of the way, and you should have three stickers. first sticker I'm putting on is what looks like a black line. That is her smile. black line with four black lines on it. That is her eye. And the last 
sticker. And the prettiest sticker is the glitter heart. And ta-da! Now that we have all of our stickers on, you can use your felt tip markers, your fabric markers, and decorate her however you want. Unicorns live in groups of four or five that make up a joyous family. The head of the family is an elder unicorn who is hundreds of years old. Other family members include a loving couple and one or two young unicorns. Unicorn families spend their lives alone, living in peace deep in the forest. When two unicorn families meet, they express great joy and travel together for weeks before they depart and go their separate ways. The unicorn may eat grass and hay, but it really doesn't need to eat at all. It absorbs its energy from the sun, probably through their horns. Unicorns can be any color, from jet black and brown to dazzling gold, brilliant red, or pure white. Anyone who touches a pure white unicorn will find happiness and joy for her entire life. Once you're finished decorating your pillow, make sure you set it aside so it can dry before placing it on any furniture. All right, we are done. I set my pillow aside after using my fabric markers for about 30 to 45 minutes, just to make sure it was completely dry and I wasn't gonna get any ink on any furniture. And now we have a beautiful unicorn pillow. Here is the first sign that everyone did with me. And here is my custom side. So go ahead and comment down below of what you think her name should be, what you named your unicorn, and post a picture of yours so I can see your beautiful designs. If you liked the video, make sure to check back for more videos like this. Remember to make the world a better place and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Bye guys!